Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are actually going to take notes from a calculus textbook. I started classes last week and I really meant to do this video then. It's kind of crazy trying to get into the groove of classes and work and people and it was still the first week so there wasn't a whole lot that really needed done. Most of it was still review. So I'm going to go ahead and take some notes from my calc book and kind of show you guys how I do that because it's barely different than when I take notes from a regular textbook, but I have had lots of questions about it. We're just gonna go ahead and dive right on in. You are obviously going to need some things. The first is going to be your textbook. I'm really sorry guys, I'm not taking a full-on science class anymore. I had physics two first semester last year and that was my last science class that I had to take. But I will go ahead and show you guys how I do a calc one and then probably at some point down the road I'll do an engineering one which is almost exactly the same but that way you guys can just kind of see that I'm not lying about that. also need something to put your notes in and like I've mentioned before I like to use hybrid note binders. Um, this one is a one and a half inch ring size. This is just where I'm going to be putting my notes from the textbook as well as when I read write my lecture notes. So like my other textbook notes tutorial, you will need sticky notes. Um, so we're going to stick with our original three colors, blue, green, and pink, but we are adding a fourth color, orange. In the past tutorial, blue was vocabulary words and their definitions, and green was direct quotes. I don't use it super often in math or engineering textbooks. It's really more of a social sciences, liberal arts kind of class tool, but there are is occasionally something that I would like to quote directly, something that's really difficult to put in other words. I also used pink. This was key concepts, and so this is actually super helpful with math and science notes, and usually goes hand in hand with our fourth color, which is orange. And this is where I write all of my equations. I'll kind of show you guys the difference between key concepts and vocabulary terms. Usually a key concept will include the vocabulary term, but I do have um, a few smaller versions of all of those colors and uh, sticky notes as well. The writing utensil you really need is any pen or pencil of your choice. Obviously, I'm gonna stick with the Pilot G2. We know they're my favorite. Okay, let's go ahead and get started.
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because it's about as far as we've gone in lecture. As you can see in my math-based notes, the pink actually covers a lot of theorems or other things that further elaborate on a concept that is defined and when it's defined I put it on a blue sticky note and then I use the elaboration and put that on a pink sticky note and sometimes the elaboration is kind of combined with equation and so that's when when I'm writing my notes out after, like taking them off of the sticky notes and putting them on the paper itself that's when I would go through with my orange pen and write in equations that way so I'm actually not going to show you guys me writing these notes into the notebook. What I'm going to do is, since I do have lecture notes with this class, if you guys tune in for my lecture notes video, you'll see how I combine the two really thoroughly. Kind of general gist of this is instead of taking out the sticky notes and rearranging them on my desk like you saw in my last video, I take them all out and as I go through my lecture notes and I'm highlighting and making notes before I go through and rewrite them, I put the sticky notes in with the lecture notes that they pertain to. It sounds kind of time consuming and I will admit that it is but it's something that really truly makes sure that I learn the material because I'm a very much a, a visual person and so the colors plus the act of writing out and watching my hand make the letters kind of sets it into my brain further and the writing it twice once on the sticky notes I guess technically three times, once in lecture and then again onto the revised note pages. It just helps me so much to remember things in the future. I know it's kind of lame that I'm not showing you guys the writing of the sticky notes onto the piece of paper, but just stay tuned for my lecture notes video because I do integrate my textbook notes with my lecture notes in a course such as this. So that brings us to an actually pretty great stopping point for this video, but a few closing remarks. Go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on all the social media as you guys know. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and I'll see you guys later.